this is Steve Green, at Steve Go Green on Twitter, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Foodie Chats, where the foodie community chats together. Every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central, just type in that hashtag Foodie Chats, and you will talk with people all across the world, sharing great new recipes, talking about that great restaurant you just dined at, and basically just sharing all those foodie pics that you're taking all week long. National Hot Dog Day. We are at the Vienna Beef Factory Store in Chicago. Where else better to be than the Vienna Beef Factory Store? I mean, the history of Vienna Beef, all the way back to 1893 from the Columbian Exposition, so much history. And we have Bob Schwartz, author, never put ketchup on a hot dog, to chat with us about the entire history. I can't think of a better place to be for National Hot Dog Day than the Vienna Beef Factory Store. And who else better to talk with us than Bob Schwartz, author of Never Put Ketchup on a Hot Dog. Bob, good to see you. How are you? Thanks, Steve. So tell us a little bit more about, yeah. You know, hot dogs have a long storied history and that Chicago style hot dog really began during the Depression and long, long time ago. But uh, right here in Chicago and in those days, they had four main ingredients. It was the mustard, mm -hmm. you had relish, onions, and you had cucumber. Since that time, we've traded in the cucumber for pickles, and we've added those great um, jalapeno sport peppers and a dash of celery salt, and we call it dragging it through the garden. And now we got the, uh, the Chicago-style hot dog. So Chicago is very passionate about their hot dogs, and we're very oh, yeah. passionate about no ketchup on the hot dog. Any most are any story about? Uh, well, you know the best story I can tell you, but it was a Chicagoan who had hot dogs, Chicago hot dogs, his own hot dog cart out in Hawaii. He invited Bill Clinton <laughs> to lunch one day, and they had hot dogs. They enjoyed themselves. Six months later. Clinton's social secretary asked if the president could come back for hot dogs again. And of course he did. And Ira was making hot dogs for everybody, including a Secret Service guy who said, I would like ketchup on my hot dog. Ira said, I'm sorry, these are Chicago style hot dogs. And at that moment, Clinton tapped the Secret Service guy on the shoulder and said, I was here last year and he wouldn't give me ketchup either. <laughs> So there you have it. So make sure when you have a Chicago style hot dog, no ketchup. And you can read it all in Never Put Ketchup on a Hot Dog. You got it. Hey, Gold Coast Hot Dogs. I worked at the Taste of Chicago when I was eight, and we created a jingle for Gold Coast Hot Dogs working at the Taste. You got the char dog, we got the cheddar fry, we got the pickle on the pickle on the pickle on the stick. What pickle on the stick? So you had it going. I mean, the hot dog just provokes so much fun in your life. So awesome. it is America's pastime. Bob, it's Thanks been a pleasure. So I want to welcome everybody live in Chicago right now. This is very cool. It's very cool to be here for National Hot Dog Day. And we are a small yet powerful group here right now. Welcome to another episode of Foodie Chats. Where is everyone eating and tweeting from tonight? Question four is dedicated to another one of our sponsors tonight, Rosati's Pizza, that teamed up with Vienna Beef to make their chili cheese dog pizza. So you gotta be a little creative on National Hot Dog Day. So Foodie Chats teamed up with Rosati's Pizza to make a National Hot Dog Day pizza, and look at what we have here. What do we have here today for a National Hot Dog Day pizza? You have a chili cheese dog pizza. It starts with um, a nice, thin, crispy crust, and then you layer it with pizza sauce, then spread with a nice layer of chili, grilled onions, um, mm -hmm. jalapeno sausage, cheddar cheese, and mozzarella cheese, some tomatoes on top, and it makes one heck of a pizza. So. The question is, at 740, is if you were going to create your own special pizza, what would you have on it? 
and what would you call it? So, everyone in the country right now in the world is actually going to answer that pizza. Are you doing anything special for if somebody comes up with a pretty cool pizza idea? And we are going to give whoever comes up with the newest pizza in our lineup naming rights for this pizza. So start casting your votes. Brittany's going to keep track of it. And once we find, get all of your recipes in, we hope to have it ready for October for National Hot Dog. Nope. National Pizza Month. National Pizza Month. Right? Yes. So come up with your best recipes and let us and tweet them to us so we can name a pizza after you. Seven ten p.m. Central. We ask the first question, and it's pretty cool. People from around the world. I'm going to refresh my phone right now, and as you see, within the last minute, over 52 messages have gone by in the last minute. So I have to keep scrolling and see through all the people that are chatting. We have, oh look at that. We have Whole Foods chiming in. We have Foodie Rats that I know that's from New York. We have Pat Chicago, who's here in Chicago. Lois Marketing, Mama Cuisine, Rebecca in Vegas, Chocolate Girl in. Orlando, I think. So people from around the country are participating in Foodie Chat. So as you can see, we all got together. We are Chicago's best right now. Are we Chicago's best? If you are a restaurant or a brand or if you have a product, Foodie Chats is the perfect vehicle for you. If you want to get in touch with us, you can Facebook us, tweet us, Instagram, Pinterest, Google Plus, you can email us, or you can visit our website, or you can even go old school and pick up the phone and give us a call. We look forward to chatting with you online, and we look forward to chatting with you live in person. This is Steve Green, at Steve Go Green. We out.